my students. Today we continue studying the next lesson with Unit 11. What is the title of Unit 11? Yes, Traveling Around Vietnam. With Lesson 2, read on page 102 to 105. Now, are you ready to study? Now, before we study, I give you some new words. Now you look at the six pictures on the screen. So do you tell me the words here? In picture one, what is it? Yes, it is institute. And picture two, what is it? It is limestone. And picture three, mountain slope. What is picture four? Railway. And picture five, waterfall. And picture six, it is not a plan. The plan is on a flight. Yeah, flight. Now listen and repeat after me. Institute. 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 Picture two, limestone. 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 Picture three, mountain slope. Mountain slope. Mountain slope. Picture four, railway. 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 Picture five. Waterfall, waterfall, waterfall. Picture six, flight, flight, flight. So what is number one in Vietnamese? Yeah, a lot of vinh. And number two, Đà Voi. Number three, Sườn Núi. Number four, Đường Ray Xe Lửa. Number five, Thác Nước. And number six, nó là chuyến bài. Now, I want you to remember these new words because they are very helpful for you to understand the lesson. Now, we continue with the next task. Now, before we study, I want you to guess the sentences here are true or false. Number one, Nha Trang has some limestone islands and caves. Number two, we can visit Oceanic Institute in Nha Trang. Number three, there are beautiful mountain slopes in Dala. And number four, you can travel to Sapa by plants. Number five, lakes and waterfalls are famous in Dala. Number six, it's easy to find hotels. Sorry, it's easy to find hotels and mini hotels in Halong City. Now, you copy down the sentences and you give your guessing. The, the sentences here are true or false. You can stop the video to do that. Now, when you finish giving your guessing, we continue. Now, you open your book on page 102 to 103 to read the text here. We have four famous places here, Nha Trang, Đà Lạt, Sapa, and Ha Long Bay. You read the information in your book. Now, you stop the video to do that. Now, I have you the answer with your guessing. Number one, four. Why is it four? Yeah, Ha Long Bay, not Nha Trang. Number two, is it true or four? Yes, it is true. And number three, four. Which four? Sapa. Yes. And number four, four. Which is four? Yes, count. Number five, two. And number six, is it true or four? Yes, it is true. Now, you correct your guessing. I tell you the answer again. Number one, four. Number two, two. Number three, false. Number four, false. Number five, two. Number six, two. Have you finished? Yes. Now, we move to the next task. Now, to check the topics mentioned in the brochures about the results, I want you to read the test again. And then you check the thing which Nha Trang, Đà Lạt, Sapa, or Ha Long Bay has. We have 14 things here. Number one, case. Number two, flights to Hanoi. Number three, hotels. Number four, local transport. Number five, mini hotel. Number six, mountain slopes. Number seven, railway. Number eight, restaurants. Number nine, sand beaches. Number 10, tourist attractions. Number 11, ties of food. 
Number 12, villages. Number 13, waterfalls. And number 4, world heritage. Now you read the text again and then you check the thing. Which place, is, which place has the things here? Have you finished? Now I help you with the answer. Here is the information about Nha Trang. So, what does Nha Trang have here? Yes, flights to Hanoi. What else? Hotels. What else? Yeah, local transport. So, you tick the things Nha Trang has here. Yes, you can stop the video to do the task. Now we continue. I help you with the lack. So what does the lack have? Yeah, flights to Hanoi, no hotel. Yes, hotel. Many hotels, but difficult to find accommodation at busy times. Yes, local transport. And here, railway. Yes, waterfalls. So you take the things in your book. Now we continue with Sapa. What does Sapa have? Yes. Local transport. And mountain slope. What else? Villages. Yes. Now you take the things in your book like this. Now we continue with Halong Bay. What does Halong Bay have? Yes. Case, hotels, mini hotels, local transport, and sand beaches. One, two, three, four, five, and six things. Halong Bay has here. Now you take the things which Halong Bay has in your book like this. Have you finished? Now I tell you the answer again for all the places here do you have correct answer yes now I want you to read the test again and do the task 2 on page 105 we have one, two, three, four, five, five places here in Nha Trang, Đà Lạt, Sapa, Halong Bay, and Yarong Harbor. I want you to read the information here and then you suggest the correct places for the people here. In Centenay, Andrew study tribes around the world. He likes mountain climbing. So, which place would you suggest for Andrew? You read the information about Nha Trang, the last Sapa, Halong Bay, and Yaron Harbor, and then you give correct suggestion for Andrew. Have you finished? Five, three, two, one. Now I have you with the answer. Andrew study tries around the world. He likes mountain climbing, so I suggest he. Come to Sapa. Yes, Sapa. And about Mary. Mary loves Vietnam and she wants to travel by train to see as much of the country as possible. She also wants to visit Oceanic Institute in Vietnam. So, which play would you suggest for Mary? Yeah, follow the information here. I suggest Mary to come to Nha Trang. And here. About Chong, like swimming and sunbathing. She has been to Vietnam twice and she has visited Nha Trang already. So that means she didn't, she doesn't want to Nha Trang again. Yes, she, she wants to Halong Bay. And Donna is a florist. She has a flower shop in Los Angeles. She is thinking of import important flowers from Vietnam. So, which play would you suggest for Donna? Yes, it's easy. It's easy. Flowers, yes, suggest Dalla. Now, you 
put the tick in your book like this on the screen. So, the lesson today is end. At home, I want you to learn by heart the new words. Read the text again to understand more. Think of a place you want to go and talk about its attractions. You prepare for the next lesson, Unit 11, Lesson 3, Language Focus, on page 108 to 110. So, that's the end of the lesson today. See you next time.